Porch Project began in 2009 uh, because the minister who, who had newly came to the church had this dream um, that young people were sitting on the porch and they had nowhere to go. So he then came to the conclusion that he wanted to open the doors of his church and let them in. Now that was a really big risk because the porch had been known for young people being antisocial in it, for there being graffiti, for them urinating over the doors of the church. So it was a massive risk. So he went to the church and he said, listen, I've had this vision or this dream that I think I have to open the doors of the church and let young people in. Um, so he did that and it kind of went a bit wrong uh, because he let them in and they kind of blew up a gas heater. They caused 700 pounds worth of damage to the organ. Um, it was pretty bad, um, but that's, that's kind of when it started and then it developed from there. Um, the Forge Project is open to um, any young person uh, between the ages of 11 and 19. Um, there's no sort of criteria that um, means that they can or can't come. It's open to everyone in the area. Well, it's pretty much like a place to go, somewhere to chill when it's raining or snowing or even if it's sunny. Some people come when it's sunny, I don't know why. But, <laughs> but well, yeah, it's a place to go when there's nowhere else to go, really. A place to have a nice, fun time with mates. Uh, first and for foremost, it's a, it's, a, it's a place to go. It's somewhere for them to feel that they can call their own. Uh, they don't have to do something. They don't have to buy into a religion. They don't have to do a certain, a certain set of things. They, it's just a free space for them to be and to hang out. Um, and it's also, there's hospitality there, so they cook their own food, they cook their own f kind of bacon and, and that kind of stuff on Friday nights, so they make their own food. Uh, there's like th normally three games consoles or massive screens at the front of the church. Um, then you have a snooker table and a pool table and a table tennis table and it's kind of really a drop-in type youth work project so young people come in and out all night. Um, primarily a lot of the young people come as a place for them to hang out with their friends but um, we aim to offer a lot more than that. We aim to offer them a space where um, we can help them with their um, education with the development suite um, and um, we aim to help them with their sort of social development as well. Um, so yeah, they get to meet a lot more people than they would do sort of within the, the friendship groups as well. And we, we work with quite a few people to be able to give young people all that they can have in Hadley because it's very difficult for young people with transport issues to get to the main places like Ipswich or Bury um, and they struggle with that if they don't have much money. So we try and help provide that gap and, and fulfil that need there. Well, I'm, it's my understanding that or what I've heard is that the um, the amount of petty crime from the, pol the police point of view has gone down in, in the town. And again, it's my understanding that the um, schools are getting more homework and less truanting. Um, and I think it's a good thing for the young people to meet together and, and talk with their, with their peers and, and just relax and be, be themselves. We, if we have any questions about anything like drugs, alcohol, just social behaviour. We have um, staff here that um, could give you advice and help you through it if you need it. Well, I, if, the, if the young people are, are here um, off the streets and causing mayhem and um, whatever, I think it must be uh, better for Hadley. If you haven't checked the Porch Project out, check us out on www.porchproject.co.uk. And if you want to get in touch with me, it's uh, youthworkco at porchproject.co.uk.